Natasha Kovalevska. I come from Ukraine. Ukraine is still a third world country, so you know, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty similar to the Czech Republic because we have similar culture and traditions and stuff, but it's still really underdeveloped. Uh, when the conflict started in the end of 2013, but essentially it was in 2014, I was 16 and 17, so 17. Well, it was really, I would say it was life-changing and it's such a unique experience because you have suddenly like hundreds of thousands of people at, at, in the same place at the same time just striving for the same thing and you just feel this energy like enormous like the people uh, all, all of it just coming coming at you it's so so like empowering yeah, you know city, like, i'm from kiev and the protests were mainly happening in kiev but as well in, as in other cities but um the school was closed and the city was kind of dead apart from these places oh i, I guess some people some businesses, or I mean, some places were still open, but it was really scary. People were scared that something's gonna happen and we're gonna have like a real war. Um, so, yeah. well, in terms of, I think it definitely changed the pe people's perspective, like the Ukraine perspective of Ukrainians on what what we're capable of, I guess. There are a lot of talks that nothing changed in Ukraine and basically it's like all the same and stuff. I mean, we got some progress in terms of international relations. Like we got the um, visa-free uh, regime with the European Union and stuff. But I guess, yeah, I guess I can see the change in like younger generation, like my, my generation as well. And as well as my parents' generation. Like, I, I don't know. It's, it's it's there are a lot of talks about it, but the real changes, and it's not. I don't think it's that noticeable or.